Open AI O3 Mini is here and I'm going to tell you everything that I know about this model in the next few minutes. This is a model that follows in the family of O series which is the thinking model. O1, O1 Mini already exist and O3 Mini is the replacement for O1 Mini which is supposed to be the fast but still thinking model. What Open AI has done with O3 Mini is something interesting. Instead of launching only one model, they are launching O3 Mini in three different flavors. There is O3 Mini Low, O3 Mini Medium and O3 mini high it basically depends on how you want to trade off the speed and accuracy at also same time serving the model with quite like cost effective manner so in fact they are calling this model the cost effective reasoning because this model is fast it doesn't take a lot of cost so that they can give it for even free users if that is something that you're thinking about it o3 mini will be available for chat gpt free users even if you're not a plus subscriber or a pro subscriber so they're calling this cost effective reasoning while trying to maintain the same quality another important thing about o3 mini if you're a developer is that this is the first reasoning model that will be uh, that will have function calling structured outputs and also developer messages so these are not available for O1 Mini. So unlike O1 Mini, O3 Mini is going to have all these things. So that means as a developer, you should be able to use O3 Mini to develop products if you were using function calling. That also means that it can get into a lot of agents in the future, near future. So developers can also select the reasoning effort and the reasoning effort is basically the low, medium, high. So the like larger the thinking time, higher the reasoning effort is, lower the thinking time, lower the reasoning effort is. So this flexibility allows O3 Mini to think harder when tackling hard problems like complex problems and O3 Mini doesn't support vision at this particular point. So that's something that probably will get in the future. Right now, this model is going to be available on ChatGPT for both free plus and pro subscribers. And it is also going to be available on the API. In terms of benchmarks, O3 Mini is definitely a lot better than O1 Mini model. And in fact, O3 Mini High is supposed to be better than O1. So this also kind of proves a point saying that okay maybe maybe with these reasoning models the longer we let them think the better the model accuracy would be so that that is like the sentiment that has been like increasing in the research world like scaling loss for test time compute so this kind of proves exactly the same and again one important thing is this is not a completely new model so this is a model that they showed previewed uh, in december 2024 when they did that 12 days of opening i think so this this is basically the model is launched officially not just in preview and a lot of other benchmarks this model is definitely doing better what i am particularly interested in seeing is that okay how this model is doing in the human evaluation like not just in terms of benchmarks in human evaluation so you can see that this model is preferred a lot better than owen mini in terms of the stem questions so anything related to science, engineering and math. And uh, this model is also good if you have a time constraint. So for example, if there is a time constraint for the user and then you can see O1 Mini was preferred 50% of the time and this model is still winning much, much, much better than O1 Mini. So ideally OpenAI is going to replace O1 Mini with O3 Mini. So you can see why they are doing it because this model is ideally a better model. And in terms of latency, you can see the O1 Mini medium model, O1 Mini and O3 Mini medium model and uh, O3 mini low would be much much uh, uh, faster and uh, O3 mini high would be um, slower so that's why I think they have like kind of found the sweet spot with O3 mini medium and then then try to compare it so you're getting a model that is faster than O1 mini better than O1 mini and uh, it also has got different flavors than O1 mini especially if you're a developer then you should be able to have like three different flavors even for your customers and then say okay this is a reasoning task you want it to fast you want it like not very fast or you want it um, to be like you know blazing fast so you can offer three different prices i think this is going to come a lot into these developer products and the way open a has made it available it's going to be helpful for a lot of different people a very quick demo of the model so you can go to chat gpt and then try the model try now and if i were to search what is the best way to find new investments in startups and search 
and you can see the model is going to start reasoning here and you can start reading the reasoning as well so it says okay these are the guidelines one thing about o3 mini or any o series model with open ai is that they don't give you the exact reasoning chain of thoughts so you just get like a summary of it and then you finally get the final output so you can see the reasoning which is not really great and you can finally see the output so it is like good for all these kind of questions okay sally has um, three bros and uh, she all bros have uh, one sister uh, what about uh, sally's sisters um, i just like intentionally gave sisters uh, so we're going to see it's going to do the reasoning and it is going to come and give us the answer back one good thing about this model is this model is extremely fast this is not a real test i'm going to make a separate video about testing this model but for now o3 mini is here if you're a developer if you're a pro user if you're a plus user and if you're a free user in the next few hours you should be able to see this model thank you so much for watching see you on the video happy prompting